What's going on, foodies and foodettes? It's your boy, The Big Bite, back at it again with another food review. And today's review, I am exceptionally excited for. I am especially excited for. Wow, English is nobody go looking. English is not my first language. So, today we are eating bao. And for those of you guys who don't know what bao is, it's basically like a really soft bun that holds absolute delicious ingredients. Um, but in New York City, I would say the hardest thing to find is affordable bao. In fact, the place I just went to, you know, name in description, location in description, the name of the restaurant is called Bao Berg. But I, I felt like I don't have to tell you because you can just click on the description. It's all there. Um, I was in there ordering, you know, my, my usual. Hey, can I get two of the most or. All right. I, I said I said I said two of the most popular bow only because I thought each each order was one bow, but it was actually two. So now I have four bow. I'm not sorry. And I am going to eat it all. I deserve this. But I ordered um, she's she, I ordered and she gave me a shrimp tempura bow and she gave me a beef bow, I think. OK, I. Nope, she switched it. She gave me a pork bow and a shrimp tempura bow. Now, when I asked her, I said, can I get, you know, two of the most popular bow that you have? And she initially was like, OK, I'll give you two beef bow. And then she thought about it and said, no, I'll give you. A sh I didn't hear the first word. Obviously, it was pork. And then she and then she gave me a shrimp tempura bow. And I checked the menu and the shrimp tempura bow is not actually on the menu. So that's really interesting. Maybe it's on like the full menu because what's on the front is an express menu. But the menu it's huge. It's like 60 items. So my mouth is dripping again. This is what the pork bow looks like. Uh, uh. Okay. So they're basically like little Asian tacos in super steamed soft buns. It, I'm just going to go ahead and take a bite of one of these because I'm really weak right now. Hey, yo. That's immaculate. That's exceptional. That is exactly what you want bao to taste like. It's perfect, perfect, perfect combination. It's got something on top of it, like nuts or something. Um, it's pork belly, it's scallions, it's soy, it's ginger, glaze. It's like some sort of mayo. I'm pretty sure it's just mayo. I don't know, you tell me. That white right there isn't like a spicy mayo like you would normally see on this. It's just a regular mayo, but it's fire. Also, last episode, I didn't give a number for the poke. I think I, the last thing I ate was poke, right? Yeah, it was poke. I just spit everywhere. God damn, get yourself together, wish. 9.4 on the poke. Nine point, solid 9.4. Best poke I ever had in my life. Now, this is the other, this is like the hidden menu. Po wow. There's caviar on this. How much does this cost? This one's $12. So about $6 per bow. Thumbnail. This looks incredible. Uh, we got some spicy mayo. We got some shrimp. It looks like just very simple greens on the bottom and some caviar. Now, I will say, I have never had caviar before in my life. I've, I've never been in the tax bracket to eat caviar normally either in my life. So if you're watching this and you are in that tax bracket, you let me know how life is up there. Trickle down capitalism doesn't work. I'm broke, but let's go ahead and get to this. I want to make sure I get caviar in the bite. 
Um, I will say one thing that did bother me was the girl who made this wasn't wearing gloves in this goddamn COVID season. Was she wearing a mask? I don't think she was wearing a mask either. Bro, should I eat this? Hey, man. 99.98 survival rate, right? I'm, I'm actually worried here. So there's a tomato, there's onions, and there's like this simple green again in the middle. It could be spinach or something. But I don't taste any of the caviar. I want to just like... Okay. Okay, I tasted the caviar now. It just tastes like... um, It tastes like really lightly salted fish. I've never had it before. This is honestly a first for me. I'm really happy because... I love bao, but like like when I did the uh, when I did the poke review, this isn't something that I typically look for. Like if I'm hungry and I see a cool place and I'm like, oh bao, let's go eat that. Sure, but it's not something when you're thinking of like, what do I want to eat for dinner? It's not something that you think of for me personally. Maybe it is for you. For me, I'm simple. You know, rice, beans, chicken, maybe a slice of pizza, or taco, or something. But this. This caviar is really interesting. I want to just like bite the top and just take the caviar off to really taste it. Yeah, so it's like uh, you guys ever had frozen yogurt and you get like those little those little balls. Ooh, oh, I don't know about this one. It's really fishy. And I think they say that if it's really fishy, it's cheap. And this is a $6 bow. So this is probably horrible caviar. And this is probably not a very good first experience for me. But I will say, um, it's like a little explosion of the sea in your mouth. It's like, yeah, that's, that's the best way I can put it. It's like taking a bite of the ocean slightly. Um, Overall, I'm pretty happy with the order. Oh, I didn't tell you guys a story. When I went into the, the place and I ordered, some guy came in behind me and he was like, hey, how much? Uh, he was like, how big are the bow? And he said, uh, regular size. He goes, and it's $10 for one? And the guy was like, two. He was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll take an original. He, Bro, first off, we live in a time where you can look up menu items and you can look up prices before you walk in and make an ass of yourself. First off. Secondly, don't knock somebody's grind like that to their face. Do it in a review. In the privacy of your own vehicle. In some weird ass neighborhood. And don't do it to somebody's. That's their business. You don't walk into, oh, wow, this is expensive. So take your ass down the block. There's a dollar slice. Go grab three slices and shut up. Don't go to somebody's business complaining about prices. First and foremost, it's bow. Like I just said, if you want bow, it's going to be a little pricey in New York City. That's normal. I'm sorry, but a lot of these people that come into New York, man, they don't fit in New York. Shut up and mind your business or don't show up at all. Anyway, back to the food. This food is fire and I would definitely come again. I give this a solid 8.4 on the scale only because that pork belly bow is really good and this shrimp tempura bow is actually really good. I probably would remove the caviar because it's probably really cheap caviar and it's just there because it's pretty and it's red and it looks really cool. Also, I would add some spice to that pork, but if I just hit that with a little bit of spicy mayo, ooh, maybe change it in the order because the order is regular mayo, maybe just hit it with some spicy mayo instead. Probably go up to like 8.8, 8.9, but 8.4, Bauberg. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.